Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over how to get Sailfish operating system on a micro SD card and boot it onto the Pine phone. So I'm going to walk through the process. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our micro SD card ready. When we've inserted our micro SD card, we can then pull up a terminal. We can run DMESG and then tail and what that's going to do is show us the micro SD card being recognized. So then what we need to use is DD to overwrite it with random data. So we're going to do DD if equals slash DEV slash U random. Then we're going to type of equals and then the micro SD card device name slash DEV slash MMCBLK0 which stands for block zero and as you can see that is the name of it and here we're going to do bs equals 8m now the gist of this is the default setting it only writes at a certain speed but if you increase this number here which the 8 is 8 megabytes and if you increase this number here you're going to have a faster time so then we're going to type enter and it, we're gonna, it's going to begin overwriting our micro sd card partitions and everything else with random data and once this process is finished we'll have a micro SD card that is ready to use so after we have done that we're going to go to github.com slash sailfish dash on dash don't be evil this will be the pine phone uh, script for flash it this is a really nice script written to basically get your partitions everything done on your micro SD card it will even download the correct latest image for you for the pine phone so this script does everything you need so then we're gonna go and we're going to copy that address and we're gonna W get it and I'm going to open a new tab And what I'm going to do is W get, and then I'm going to paste the location, and it'll make sure the bash script is all properly formatted for us. So W get, we'll download it. Now we're looking at flashit.sh. We're going to run, first we're going to get a root shell, because we're going to need root for what we're working on. And what we're going to do now is we're going to run bash flash it.sh. First we're going to need to make sure our micro SD card is ready. So we're going to give this a couple minutes to finish up the overwriting and the cleaning off of our micro SD card and we will then get to the flash it script and I'll walk you guys through to show you guys how to work with this. Okay everything is finished on getting our micro SD card ready with overwriting it with random data. Now we can run the flash it script as root we'll do bash flash dash it dot sh now here it's going to ask which pine phone you have now if you have a braveheart or newer you're going to select braveheart uh, that's what i have i have a ubuntu touch community edition so i'm going to select number two which is pine phone 1.1 braveheart now, if you have anything newer, that's what you're going to select. And if you have the development device, you would already know that. So I select two. It's now downloading the Sailfish operating system latest images. So we can then allow this process to go through. So it has finished downloading the image of Sailfish operating system for PinePhone. Now it's asking where I want to flash this to. Now, I'm going to select my micro SD card. As mentioned earlier, when we overrid it with random data, we now are going to do slash DEV slash MMC BLK0, and we're going to hit enter. The script is going to do the rest for us. Once you have booted and selected your language, your internet connection, which will be Wi Fi or your SIM card, we will then go through the tutorial and this will teach you the gestures that are key to using the Sailfish operating system. It's a really pretty operating system to use. It's going through some of these settings and different methods of navigating the operating system. It's a very nice little tutorial.
So then we have all these different notifications in our social feeds, our weather. We have a lot of great stuff here on this beautiful operating system. Now I'm going to demonstrate that cellular does work and I can receive incoming calls to my Pine phone with Sailfish operating system. As you can see, it's ringing. I'm not going to turn it forward just because I don't want to show my phone number. You can actually hear my voice coming out of the Pine phone, and I am speaking to it from my other phone. So I hope this comes up in the video so you guys can hear the actual call. Just want to demonstrate that Sailfish does receive incoming calls on the Pine phone. Now on the other hand I did have problems dialing out. That's unfortunate but I'm sure it will get fixed in time. Now right here I just texted myself for the example but I have also tested with other parties and in order to protect privacy I'm just going to be using the self-texting for this example here. As you can see, it received and sent the message. So SMS is working. So now I've got a terminal open. You can actually get a root shell. And to do that, we will go into settings. And from here, we will go down and we will go to development tools. We have to enable that and we'll be able to, from there, get a root shell that we can then SSH into our phone in order to do any further customization or terminal work. Unfortunately, the camera does not work at this moment in time, but I'm sure in due time, things will be fixed with that. So we will close that out. And close out the settings. Okay, and go back. So, there are applications. You can get an account with Sailfish if you want to uh, be eligible for their app store and everything. But it is a Linux system and you should be able to run Linux related things. So it has a lot of capability. It's a great operating system. I highly suggest giving it a look. If you want a really smooth experience on your Pine phone, right now I think this would be the smoothest one. But as I mentioned, calls are only incoming at the moment. For my own experience, yours may differ depending on your cellular provider and SIM card. But for me, I can receive phone calls on the Sailfish Pine Phone operating system. Now, I cannot make calls out. It just ends the call before it rings. So, But text messages do work. And, of course, cellular works as much as I have explained. So that's what I got today, guys. I hope you liked the video. So please like, share, and subscribe.